All right, guys, welcome to another episode today. I am showing Wilma for the first time my secret spillway. Unfortunately, it is blown out and brown. A little disappointed in that. Lure fishing will be tough. I think fishing in general will be tough, but we're gonna try anyway. And we got red wigglers. Our goal is to get our personal best warmouth, bluegill or hybrid bluegill. And it's really dingy. I'm talking chocolate milk. <coughs> Hardly any visibility whatsoever. Oh man, I don't know what I got. I think it's a giant crappie. Oh my God. I don't know, Wilma. Whoa. Oh my God, guys, I got a big bass. He's pushing three pounds, isn't he? Oh my goodness, yes he is. Whoa. Oh, nice large mouth, especially for this dingy water. I didn't have no faith in lures whatsoever, guys. Oh man, he's barely on there. I got to get him now. Oh, oh. oh. He's almost four. Oh my God. I want you to come film me. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, he's a full three anyway. On the Bandit 200 chart flick. Nice large mouth. My goodness. <sighs> yeah, that's a nice one. My goodness. Really nice. That's the biggest one I've seen out of here so far in a pond. He's a full three. Not nice. bad at all. Heck yeah. Not bad for staying really muddy water. I didn't expect to get anything on a lure. It looks dark in this area. Go this way. There we go. That one. Yeah. That's a big bass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a big one. <gasps> he made it. I seen him sitting there. Oh man, yes. Look what I got. Told you. It ain't big yet, but warm out. Alright guys, got my first warm out of the day. Most of them are bigger than this. This is the smallest one I've caught out of here. Yeah. All right, guys, nice, uh, nice warm out. Pretty little warm out. Love warm out. I love some warm out. Good Lord! 
God. Nice green sunfish. Oh my goodness. That's big for a green sunfish. Look. It's not a hybrid, it's a green sunfish. There's some big ones in here though. And there is hybrids. There's red ears, warmouth, regular bluegill, catfish. You're probably not letting it fall far enough. All right, guys, nice green sunfish. He's hand-sized. Beautiful. All right. I like green sunfish when they're this big and bigger, anyway. I think it's a little red ear. Nope, bluegill. All right, finally got a dang bluegill. This takes time. A lot of patience. All right, guys, first bluegill today, hand size. Not big, but not small. Got him that time. That's where the fish are over there. We're gonna have to go over there in a little bit. We can catch some really big bluegill. Look at that one. Oh my, nice hybrid too. That's a hybrid. Oh my. Oh goodness. Hybrid bluegill. See, it's a hybrid between a green sunfish and a bluegill. But he stocks them in here stocks them in the lake. They're called Georgia Giant. And guess what he did? Walled the hook. Oh man. Right in that swift water. I'm scared to not use a bobber though because I'll get hung. Alright, nice hybrid bluegill guys. Yep, I get to go tie a hook on again. Unfortunately. Got another one. <clears throat> Pretty big. Another hybrid. All right, guys, another hybrid. Pretty awesome. Where you at? Uh, got another hybrid. Really nice one too. All right, guys, another hybrid bluegill. Love these things. Nice. Another hybrid. We need to get all our stuff here in a minute and go, take everything we have over there and fish that rock on the side. Look at that. They're right in that swift current though. I know and then it only stays there about three seconds. Good God. Mm. Mm. I think he swallowed the dang hook though. Yep. Look at that one. Hybrid again. Swallowed the damn hook. I might be able to get it. Definitely a hybrid. He's bleeding. I can tell he's, yeah, he swallowed the hook. The right on the left side of that waterfall back tucked back in that shade nice hybrid bluegill guy third one third hybrid 
I say we get all our stuff and go over there and we'll have better luck. It's because of where we're at. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Holy cow. Whoa. Oh my God. Now that's what I came for, guys. Right here. Oh my goodness. Look. That's a big one. Holy cow. That's not a green sunfish either. That's a hybrid. Tell because his mouth's a little smaller than a green sunfish. My Lord. Look at this, guys. He's nine inches. That's a eight. He's about eight inches. Now that's a hybrid bluegill right there. Nice one. That's what I came for right there. What a beauty. Yeah. That's your personal vest. All right, guys. Wilma just got her personal vest hybrid bluegill. She's never caught one like that. Oh, my goodness. Down. Yeah, he's nine inches. My goodness. It's hard to get a good video of it though. I think you're in the shade too much. Stand back here in the sun more. It shows up better the fish. That's your personal vest, isn't it? Yeah, now it looks better. Oh my. Yeah, that is a big one. Goodness. Okay. Good job. Where's the worm? Down here, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. See, I told you there's some giant ones in here, and this ain't even that big yet. The two I caught when I was with Virgil were bigger than this. Good Lord, that's still big for a bluegill in Missouri. He's a full nine inches, guys. Can you film me real quick? Take the camera off my head. Hold on. Guys, hold up. Guys, this is a nine inch bluegill. It's a female too. Big for a female bluegill. Wow. Pretty hefty. Yeah. Okay. God. And we have our first red ear of the day, guys. A little bitty red ear. Can barely tell though. You can barely see the orange flap on it. See? It's a female red ear. Alright guys, female red ear. Another hybrid, guys. Hybrid bluegill. Not a bad one either. What a beauty.
Man, another regular bluegill. Big. Man, that's a big old bluegill. These are some giants, guys. I love it. I love it. I've figured them out to where now I'm getting them quicker and quicker. They're just a little spot they're sitting at. And you can get by, honestly, with a quarter of a worm. That's all you need. You do not need to, there's no need to bait your hook all the way up. Oh, what a beautiful red ear. Look, honey, red ear. Oh my. That's actually a, a hybrid red ear too. Or it might be, yeah, it's a bluegill red ear. That's awesome, guys. I just caught a red ear bluegill hybrid. I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong, but them patterns just don't look normal of a red ear. Yeah, I could be wrong. It don't. It has a very faint red ear too. It, in fact, it just has a white, a white slither, and that's a sign of a hybrid. Pretty sure. Awesome. Pan fishing can be a blast because you get quite a variety of fish. You can sit here and catch 10 different kinds if you put your mind to it, just with a bobber and a worm. And you always get a surprise. You always end up getting a big bass or a channel cat or something else while you're doing it on accident. So it's always something. Good God. Regular bluegill. That's another big one. Yep, that's a regular bluegill. I think it may be a male just with a real pale belly right now. It's because the water being dingy. Nice bluegill, guys. They're all nice. There we go. Oh, this is a nice one, I can already tell. Oh yeah, he's pulling really well. My goodness. Oh man, this may be my biggest one of the day. Oh, it is, without a doubt. That's a regular bluegill too, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy moly. Ten inch bluegill guy. No, nine. He's nine. It's a nine inch bluegill guy. My goodness. What a beauty. Now that's a bluegill. Guys, my camera went off for no reason. The battery wasn't dead. It may got hot from the sun beating on it. Nice male bluegill this time. A full eight incher. It's getting too hot. All right, guys, long ear. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, another hybrid, man. Got me another hybrid bluegill, guys. I haven't got no big ones of them today. She did. This one's about seven. It's a beauty, though. Hybrids are the main fish we've been catching. They are all one awesome fish. What a beauty. Absolute beauty, guys. What a gorgeous fish. Right, guys, my camera keeps shutting off due to overheating. Caught me a little baby warm out. He is a baby. Shut off four times. God. Circles. God, it's a bullhead. My guy, guys, we have caught probably 10 kinds of fish now. Yellow bullhead. My gosh. And he swallowed it, of course. I'm going to have to go get a new hook. Oh, man, I got a monster. This has got to be a gigantic... Oh, it's a bass. All right, guys, I finally caught my largemouth on a worm. That's why I thought he was gigantic. I thought it had me a big old red ear or something. It's a old fish that can swallow the hook, a damn bass, and I just got back over here. I had just came back from tying a hook on. Well, I got news for him. I'm getting it out. Oh man. God. Love me some red ears. Told you this place has a good variety. Guys, one last fish to end it with. A little red ear, male red ear. That was easy to get off. What? Yeah, it was. I could have got that in one second. Now you see me hit his eyes. I could have got it still, it wasn't hard. I just turned the camera off. Down a little bit there where the sun's hitting it. Yeah, it was real shady where he's holding the fish. Then we're gonna go. All right, Wilma with a red ear. All right, good job. I told you you'd like this place. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Until next time, you know what to do.